Yeah, Evan, that's absolutely right. A lot of anticipation for this worldwide release later on this week. Now, this evening, the author of the book was here on OC's campus. He talked about how this book came about, but also how he went about uncovering the horrific murders of the Osage people. He also spoke about what we can expect with the release of the movie. The movie does a remarkable job. David Gran, author of Killers of the Flower Moon, speaking high praise for his book's adaptation into film. A film and a book are always two different things, and they should be. They are different mediums, but I think they complement each other really well, and they both, I think, arrive at the same deeper truths. The book depicts the horrific murders of the Osage Nation citizens in eastern Oklahoma to get their money. Some of the biggest names in Hollywood brought Gran's book to life being directed by Martin Scorsese and starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro. It had a real devastating emotional power when I watched it, almost in a way I wasn't fully prepared for, having been familiar with the story and the history, that it would shake me and rattle me that much to suddenly see it on the screen. Grand, joined by Osage Principal Chief Jeffrey Standing Bear, Chickasaw Nation Governor Bill Anatubby, and a special investigator from the FBI. Chief Standing Bear, who has seen the movie four times, says Scorsese worked with the tribe to get the story right. Continuing that type of of, of uh, relationships with our people and growing. He's growing, we're growing, and the result is what you see on the screen. It's not just one event, it was a process, and I had a front row seat, so I can tell you, it, it, it was a process and it was beautiful to see. Killers of the Flower Moon is released this Thursday.